if they find this footage and they release it, they'll think it's the Blair Witch all over again and nobody will believe it. Oh, and true. they'll be like, that's all fake. That ain't that's real. <laughs> this famous YouTube people died in the woods. That ain't real. Y'all get behind me. That was a growl. We're going to die in these woods. <laughs> We have no clue how we just got back to the river because we were walking straight to the gravel road. I've been in these woods a ton. You back now. So Josh has been all over the world doing crazy things in abandoned places, exploring crazy places. And Josh, what did you just say? I just thought I never thought I was gonna die in Kentucky by a monster in the woods. Everybody, old pal Monster Bait here, and I am here with some very special friends today. Hey Exploring guys. with Josh Crew. Everybody, yeah. introduce yourself. Yeah, what up, guys? Exploring with Josh. I'm here with the homie and my friends as well, and we're just taking over trying to find Bigfoot today. Whoo! What's up, guys? I'm Seth Borden. Run with Josh, and we explore abandoned places. We make ghost videos, and now I guess we're out here looking for Bigfoot with this guy. With this guy. Let's go. I'm awkward at the this. awkward one of the group. <laughs> I'm Casey. Uh, I'm just going to <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so I brought extra bait today. Yeah. For Bigfoot, oh. and that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so obviously, if Bigfoot's real and we need to sacrifice someone, it's going to be Casey. So. Right. That's right. Okay. Of course. Yeah. We fed her very nicely for a couple of days. Yep. It'll be just fine. <laughs> so, what do you all think about the Kentucky woods just being here? Um, honestly, it's very beautiful and I yeah. love this peacefulness here. It seems very secluded and not many people really know this area. That's what I'm getting out from it. So It's a really beautiful area. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I was Bigfoot, I would chill here. That's for sure. That's facts. <laughs> I'm yeah. scared to be here at night though, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be dark and That's eerie. That's going to be fun. So you're the smart one of the group, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so one thing I want to make note of, she's probably the most intelligent thinking one of us <laughs> because we have no fear of being here at nighttime. Mm. I would probably have fear of being here at nighttime. Now I will say this, out of all of us, I probably have the most gear on than anybody. So it's up to me to bring us out alive. Save us. Yeah, so uh, I guess they didn't hear the monster bait part, but uh, we'll see what happens. So we're heading in. I'm going to show them around a little bit, some of the areas that we've seen things in, some of the areas that we've seen tracks, and then of course, when it gets dark, we're gonna see what we can bring out to play. Now I tell these folks, we don't stick to the trails. You're not gonna find anything on the trails. So always remember that, off the beaten path. Always travel off trail, and you'll find quite a few things you wanna look at. But I'm gonna take them to the river. I'll show them that. I'll show them the cornfield that you are familiar with over here. And if you're not, then you need to go back and watch previous episodes. Cornfield is quite interesting. Very good food source. Hopefully they eat that instead of us. I don't know what that is. That's not a person. That's disgusting. And that's, that's pretty disgusting. fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. That's not dry at all. Let's see if we can look at the oh, grass and stuff in that. Smell. See that? Heck yeah, Bigfoot's out here. I know this is Bigfoot's turn. They're Bigfoot's turn. Honestly, that, that's very unusual. Yeah? So like, I've never something. seen scat like that in the woods, unless you're close to like a campground or something. Mm. But that's not human. That's... We're on to something already. This is good. We've this been out good. here for like five minutes. And I promise, I promise I didn't come out here like yesterday and, and yeah. drop a deuce just where we could find it. <laughs> I really don't know what that is. It has uh, definitely greens and stems and um, you should not find scat that size in the woods. That is not close to like dogs or something, but that don't look like dogs. Like that's greenery. And that's fresher than it should be. Who knows? And we're right by the cornfield. It's really weird. See that? Yeah, what? That's a deer. Oh. Okay. So that's a buck scratching the ground. Oh, so we just want a buck scratching on the ground. That's still cool. I wouldn't have been able to, I would have just walked through not knowing it. We spotted that out. That was good. Alright, not bad, kid. 
I'm so young. Oh, it's so good right now, bro. Yeah, just by looking at So what we're going to do is we're actually going to walk this bank as far as we can over this way and that okay. way. And we'll actually look and see if we see anything strange. I'm down. Because I'll tell, I always tell people this. If you don't get off the normal path, you're not going to find anything. Yeah, let's do that. That's true. Because you got to think like any wildlife, they're going to smell the human presence and be like, I ain't going down that way. Yeah, no, we're going to go this that. way. I'm ready. You're ready. Wet. Here we go. You know, these are really good at waterproof. Yeah, they are. Dang. So they called and they said, should we wear boots to this? Yeah. And what did I say? Yes. Yes. <laughs> We need to wear boots for this, because yeah. we don't stay on the trails. Now the good part about up through here is boats don't come this far, because their engines will get caught up on the rocks and things when the water's down, so. What do y'all think so far about the woods? The woods is very of nice. Kentucky. I love this place. Just to hang out, it's just really relaxing. Especially during the fall though. Now let's ask ourselves. Now this is a question we were talking about. Right. A lot of people say there's Bigfoot in Kentucky. I mean, this is a pretty rugged area. I can see yeah. I can see there being a Bigfoot here, for sure. Definitely. In my opinion, yeah. If there's a if there is a Bigfoot, I can see them right here. This is perfect a perfect area for yeah, them. I mean, yeah, perfect area for Bigfoot. Food, woods, coverage, and they won't be bothered much. Except for us, and then we'll bother. So darkness is coming upon us. Getting ready. What, about an hour? Yeah, won't be Before long. dark. I'm ready. We're going in the corn at night. I've never done that. Right. Getting ready for nighttime. What do you think Bigfoot is? I think Bigfoot is a old... Uh, ape slash human that just kind of never evolved. I to could a get that. Human. I could totally go with it. What do you think, Bigfoot? I'm a huge skeptic. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. You can't just come out here and think everything's Bigfoot. Yeah. Well, what do you think, though? What do you think he, he or if, he is? If he exists, what is it? If he exists, I feel like. I'm going to say Sasquatch. Well, that's Bigfoot. But that's just another name for Bigfoot. I feel like they're different, though. Like you think it's two different things? Yeah. So do you think Sasquatch would be more spiritual? Because the Native Americans called it Sasquatch. So, Seth, what do you think? It's, it's tough to say, but, I mean, I don't really think it's a spiritual thing. I Flesh think and blood a, creature. I think if it's, if it's real, it's a real creature. And whether it's evolved or it hasn't evolved, it's out there and it just hasn't been discovered because it's very intelligent and it's trying to stay away from everybody. So do you think... I think it's a recluse. So do you think, if it is a creature, flesh and blood creature, do you think it is actually as big as they say it is? Because sometimes eyewitnesses, their minds will play tricks with them. Yeah, true. Because you got to think, look how popular Bigfoot is in pop culture. Yeah. And like... It may not be eight to ten foot tall. True. It could actually be a little smaller. I mean, but judging by your casings, the evidence. That one was a big one. That's pretty damn big, man. Yeah, that was a big one. <laughs> Whatever yeah. it is, I think he's a little bit bigger than us. I think so too. <laughs> yeah. That's the scary yeah. part. Uh, safety briefing. Yeah, what right. we got going on here? This is first aid supplies. So if something yeah. happens out there, something happens, this has got like anything you need to get us out of here without bleeding to death or dying yeah okay um gun in here okay. so if something happens to me yep the gun's here all right okay. all right and i got a knife here so we got items if something bad were to yeah. happen cool. so you know and it's Let's locked and loaded not. i hope not it's <laughs> locked and loaded all you gotta do is just yeah just pow. aim and go so shoot? yeah um, we'll be good to go we'll but good. we're getting ready to go out into the woods you can see we got our red lights on right now um so what do you all think? I'm excited. I just like the whole red look, even on film. Yeah, this looks <laughs> it's so awesome. amped about the red yeah, right this now. This looks awesome. Yeah. Well, the cool thing about the red lights, and this is what a lot of people don't know, is it will actually be better for camera because you're seeing what we see. Yeah. So if we're looking out into the darkness. That's very true. You're only going to see what we see. 
So it's real for everybody. It's like True. realistic. Now, infrared, if we had that on, you could see for miles or whatever, according to your, your light right. uh, ability. But with the red lights, it's real. It's true, guys. Like, dead serious, whatever. I'm looking through the camera now. I'm seeing the same thing in real life. So we're yep. all... We're all in this together at this so point. So you're it? gonna have a little anxiety at times, and we may be having that same anxiety on the other side of the wind. Yeah. So, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> so we all look official, you know. We all got our, you know, we're going out hunting you're scary monsters. Out, I'm geared out. That's the way you gotta be, you know. Yeah. We can't be monster bait without gear. So you know, we're gonna head out to the woods. That's where we're going. We're going. Actually, we're going to the corn in the dark, which is probably a really bad idea because there's all kinds of animals out there. Predators, prey, us, and we'll see what happens. So you're seeing what we see, guys. And I like to make the point, like always, you're seeing what we see. Um, so the more I stare into the lens here, I blind myself. So if you can't see, we can't see. And actually it's probably worse for us because of camera sensors and things like that. So here we go. And the red. Go toward it. It looks like it's just a reflection from... Well, what would that be? So like, we're going toward it. Again, if this is found footage, this is where we made a horrible mistake. I see it right there, it's on the tree. It looks like a reflector, but why would it be that? Yeah, what is that? Is that a camera? No. It literally looks like a red reflector on a tree. Yeah, I think it's a reflector. Why would it be there? There's another one. Look. Yeah, what is that? Oh, yeah. Why is that there? Oh, let's hold it in. Let's go over there and check them out. Yeah, yo, no, that's how I asked. I asked. I was like, what is this? Like, guys? Why is there like two? That's literally nailed into the tree. Is it? Look. Like that's intentionally nailed into the tree. So is there another one? Or is that it? What do you think? Is it? You have no idea either, right? I have right? no idea. I mean, there, it wouldn't make sense for it to be like property boundaries because this is like a thousand acres of uh, wildlife management. So there would not be a property boundary. Hmm. Unless that's... Uh, but you wouldn't put a high water mark on a temporary tree like this. That's true. Like that's strange. We made it to the corn. Oh man. We made it to the cornfield. Now, let's talk about this, fellas. Friends, family, viewers. I've never been to the corn at night. Yeah. Look how clear the sky is. You can see everything. I've never been to the corn at night time. So we're gonna actually hang out at the corn for a little bit. <laughs> this is so nice. And wait, think about the average person if they were to walk through this and see a red bean. This is a corn. UFO sighting, right? Here. Yeah, yeah that, that, some some local's gonna be like, I saw a UFO! Yeah. <laughs> I saw a UFO where he had red light. It was red lights in that corn. Over it there. was in the corn. So we're headed to the river. And we're gonna try not to die on the way over there because we can literally not see much. But, luckily with the paths, you can see a little bit. So, here we go. Now, I will tell you this. Right, 
I will tell you this. This area right here, my game camera is very close by. And this is where the coyotes like to run through oh, in the dark. So we just got to kind of keep that in our minds right. with the dog whistle experiments. Because literally a pack of them blew through these woods about two weeks ago on camera. Yeah. Halfway. We are at the river. Now, we want to be about here because we can see the other side. I don't know if you all can actually see that or not, but probably not. The other side of the river is right over there. It's moving, bro. I swear that it, its eyes are like lit. What is that? Now that could be something on the side of the tree, but may I what in the Come on. Right there. Is that a stump? What is that? I swear if it moves, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, maybe it's a stump, I don't know. It could be a stump. But it looks like it moves and it looks like it's something's glowing toward the top. And it could be anything. It could just be our eyes. Let me grab this other light, I don't know. It could. Is that just our minds playing with Maybe us? Maybe it's just like cut wood. There it's we like go. It's like wood now. Is that wood? Looks like it could be wood. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we do. I mean, it literally looked like that it could have been it behind the tree. Dude, that's no. straight up. It looked legit. That straight up looked like Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> little foot, bro. Yeah, yeah. would have been little foot. Baby foot. Yeah, that was If we're looking at it right now, and what if it moves? Yeah. Oh my god. That would like ducks down? That would be nice. Nobody would ever believe it. So... Stuff's weird in the Kentucky woods, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. And we looked at the stump, which we hope it's a stump still. It ain't moving. I think it's a stump. Joey but a BB gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shoot it right in the rear. It's like, ah! <laughs> Takes off running. Shit. And then mama comes out and we're not happy with that. That's gonna get very intense very quickly. Yeah. Because now we have to go through whatever it was to get back. Yeah. You gotta think of the coyotes. They're gonna smell us and know where we are. I yeah. know. How many bullets are on you? <laughs> I've got enough to get through a few, so <laughs> we'll be okay. okay. So I don't know if this is smart, but here's what we've decided to do. So we heard some coyotes off in the distance. So Josh says, let's blow the whistle again. <laughs> well, I mean, why not? Yeah, now, we're exploring. Uh, yeah, we're exploring things, we're checking things out. And as always, don't do like we do. Uh -uh. <laughs> Unless you're ready for this. I would not recommend this. If you didn't have a gun, I probably wouldn't <laughs> yeah, say blow it like, again. We don't, because <laughs> if something's like between us and the car, that means we have to get through it to the car. That's true, it's gonna be a battle. Yeah. Hopefully we'd win. That's yeah. right. <laughs> We'll make fashion spears out of sticks and things. <laughs> that is a coyote. And that was not far. I'm I'm on right now. 
they're on this side of the river. And that's probably about 100 yards away. They're next, they're next to us. That's behind us. Holy fuck. Dude, I don't think I've ever heard a coyote like that. It sounds like a dog, but... We're works. in the woods with these things. They're about 100 yards away. I'm scared. Oh. You think, what do you, what do you think they're doing? Calling more people? They communicate that way. Yo. That's oh, not shit. far. Yo. Dude, what do you think? You think they're gonna get us? <laughs> I don't think we should. What Yo. do you think? This, ready, right? this ain't even a Bigfoot video anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is, we're gonna die by a real flesh and blood creature in the woods for you all. So you better like this video. Bro. They're reacting to this. No, they really are reacting to this. Holy fuck. Dude, that sounds wicked fucking cool. Now, the reason we're doing this, we're not doing this just for coyotes. There's theories that Bigfoot travels closely with coyotes. I don't know, is it an alarm system or what? Well, we're trying to see what else yeah. we get. What is that, like, grunting? I know. Do you hear that? It's, like, closer than the coyotes. Yeah. Let's do it again. No, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I had an experiment we were gonna try. I know, yeah, you did say that. Something triggered the coyotes though. Always remember that something triggered the coyotes. They're not just going off because of it, something triggered them. We gotta keep that in our mind because we could hear anything now. And remember what I always like to do and what I tell you all to do in the videos, stop ever so often when you're in the woods to make sure nothing's trailing you. That don't mean like Bigfoot, but anything. Because, I mean, you're looking at this all over the place. Any predatory animal that you have, it will be with you before you know it's with you. So always stop every so often and just listen. Because something could be trailing you. You don't want to be prey. Bigfoot. <laughs> coyote hunters now. <laughs> We're going to die in these woods. No. <laughs> I haven't lost anybody yet. We'll be fine. Hey, look, though. If they find this footage and they release it, they'll think it's the Blair Witch all over again and nobody will believe it. Oh, and they'll true. be like, that's all fake. That ain't real. <laughs> this famous YouTube people died in the woods. That ain't real. <laughs> We're in higher weeds here. Uh, let's get right over here to this tree line because I don't feel comfortable here because anything could be kind of dog walking toward us. Watch the thorns. There's a little bit of thorn bush here. But like I was telling Josh, I'd rather be close to the trees than in those high weeds because we can't see anything walking toward us yeah I don't want that yeah our gravel roads right behind like I'm literally in these woods every week those are across the river these ones right here
movement all around us. Did you hear that? You hear that? What if that is the baby of that? Do you hear that behind it? Yeah. I've got my hand on my weapon. We'll be fine. <laughs> That's something. Keep your lights over there. That's a growl. Y'all get behind me. That was a growl. And that was not like... That didn't sound like a dog growl. Like, that was a big growl. No. There's not another road for, pro for probably... Oh, I don't know. 30 miles up through there. That was a big growl. This is wide in parameters. <laughs> that was right in front of us. I know, dude. I know. And that's the river over there. Like, there's literally no woods beyond this little patch. That's the river. So is it across the river? Or is it down by the river? That's what I'm saying. Well, the ground sounds like the dog, so I'm assuming it's a coyote, but wouldn't they bark by now? The thing is, we would have heard them. Because there were several. So we would have heard them moving in. Could be anything. We're very close to something. Yeah. And I don't know what. He's backing out. Come back behind me. Let's try to get out of the woods into the gravel road. So y'all just stay behind me and watch my back. Because we're good as far as... Just make sure I don't like fall. You can switch to uh, regular lights if you want. Just to have visuals. Uh, yeah, if you all want to switch to regular, I'll just stay in red yeah. for my eyesight in case I have to shoot things. No, it's, no, it's back they're, there. They're trailing us. And Let's go. I know where we are. So if we go straight back, we're at the gravel road. Stuff's getting pretty intense. Yeah, it is. So we've decided to back out a little bit because there's something very big growling at us. Yeah. And it is between us and the river, so I'm not sure where it came from. Whatever it is that's been growling on us is absolutely following us and trailing us. Yeah. Around. This is fucking dangerous. But at one and point, we were hearing some weird things behind yes. us. Yes. Like, sound like talking. talking and like now, I will tell you this. Sometimes in Bigfoot sightings, they've heard what they call faux speech, and it's where they try to duplicate our voices, but they don't understand how to do it. So they call it faux speech, and they try to, like, duplicate what they hear but they can't actually speak our language. Well, shit. So I don't know. That's real. What if that's what you heard? It could Dude, be. Under, uh, wait. That's coyote. Oh, that's coyote. See, those coyotes are... They're across the river. Oh my God. This is where you need to listen for other vocals. But the thing... Something set them off. That's 
like are they getting mm. like cold? No, but there is something that's like set them off. Something's out there. And the thing is, but you know what's weird? Those coyotes that we're hearing now aren't the grouse we're hearing. They're across the river. This we would have heard another. splashing. There's so no we're way. We're hearing a new. We're hearing some other grouse. Something else. And we're hearing voices and chanting at the same time. I don't think that was the coyotes, but no. something else is here. But the coyotes are getting set off now. We would have heard them in the river. Now. Let's back out. Yeah, let's get out of here. Because something is actually back there. No, I know. I don't know. I get the ball. What I want to do is, <laughs> how about you all get behind me? I'll back out where we're sitting. And then that way if I have to fire at something, we're... You watch my back, I'll watch the front. So what he just said is we're literally in between where the Bigfoot sightings have gone. Okay, so you all keep your cameras. I'm gonna keep my white light going too. Um, just on my, in case I have to do anything I need to do here. I'm gonna go toward the ground world. Yeah, please. Yeah, I, I hit my window, yo. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, God. That was worth it, but holy fuck. Dude, you're dropping this? Um, how did that happen? How did we get turned around? We're at the river. Like legit, I'm not doing no like Blair Witch shit. Like how did we get back here? We were literally facing this way. Like look, okay, listen. And they're never gonna believe this because it's YouTube. Yeah. How the hell did we get back here? No. Like we literally just came back to where the animal was growling and we were walking straight. I know. How did we get that, to the river? That actually doesn't make any sense. That means all the coyotes are over there still. We're back where we started. We haven't heard them in a while. That makes no sense. It don't though. No, it doesn't. That, okay, what, okay, let's just talk about this. Because you're gonna see this on YouTube and be like, oh, they're trying to get views. We have no clue how we just got back to the river because we were walking straight to the gravel road. I've been in these woods a ton. And? I don't want to do this. <laughs> no, Josh, and Josh was wanting to get I out of here. Limit. I Josh wanted limit. to go. Yeah. So I'm we're not, not going to go I purposely like back to the river. Times. Yeah. Do you know where you are? <laughs> yes, I know where I am. Okay, we got to go. I don't know what's happening right now. We're going to get abducted by whatever it was. And you heard the chanting in the woods. That's even worse. I'm not going to like take a trail because I don't trust it. Yeah, you don't trust it. I trust wherever you go, bro. We're making our own path. Just watch the watch the overbrush to get what trip yet. So Josh has been all over the world doing crazy things in abandoned places, exploring crazy places. And Josh, what did you just say? I just thought I never thought I was gonna die in Kentucky by a monster in the woods or a coyote or whatever. I told him it was gonna be intense. <laughs> if we get turned around this time, we're just going to have to die out here. It's almost like strangely quiet now. Yeah, yeah I know. That's, I mean, that's strange. It's odd. It, it was is. like everything was going on, everything was happening, and then... And then just stopped. Oh, I see now. Yeah. That was one of the craziest things so, I mean, we still, I still don't know. Yeah. what that was no idea like i was telling them there's only been twice in the woods that i've actually pulled a gun the first was when i heard weird claps one time and i was like 20 30 yards probably away and this time yeah but this time was different because it was close <laughs> it was close that was i was nuts i was shaking a bit dude <laughs> it's the only time where i felt okay something's coming out 
Like yeah. right now, we're ready for it. Yeah, we were ready, but it was like, fuck. So you start to go through your mind and you start saying, what do I do now? Like, what happens? Where? How do we get through this? How do we get out of this? Yeah. Something happens, now we got injuries, so. That was, um, that was super fun, dude. All right, Josh, what do you think about the Kentucky Woods? <laughs> the Kentucky Woods are definitely crazy. Could be maybe haunted from the chanting. I don't even know. I don't know that, anything. Okay, That's, that was a whole nother thing. Let's I talk know, about that I'm for weird. a second. Because weird we heard all voices. these weird voices. Yeah. Off in the distance. And then all of a sudden we ended up back at the river again. I know. And we were going backwards away from the river. I know. The growl was at the river. I don't get so it. We shouldn't have got back there. I no. don't even get it. <laughs> and this is not just like, oh, let's try to make this spooky. No, no we yeah. don't know how we got back to the river. <clears throat> I have no idea. We Seriously. don't even know the area, so like, how would we even know to go back there? It's crazy. You know? It was it was a super fun time. I'll tell you that. That's right. I won't forget it. No, I'm not forgetting That's this. That's awesome. The time we had to get run out the woods searching for Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my, dude. But for the rest I'm of our just... life, we might be like. Was that big? I'm traumatized. That's what I ain't I'm going saying. We were sitting here talking. Maybe we should have went toward it. But then if something would have happened, then we die in the woods. Yeah. Because it could have been a realistic, like, small animal. For sure. I mean, it was weird because we heard the squeaks behind us. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, the growl started. So maybe we were between it and its yeah. meal or something. Yeah. 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 It's weird. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I had a good time. I'll tell you that, it man. Awesome. And I appreciate you taking us hey, out. No Anytime you want yeah. to come to the be, There might be another time, yeah. Maxie. We, we may come back. Yeah. With an experience woods. like that, I'll come back. Yeah, but I good. just need time to like relax. Maybe a couple, couple months off. And I'm going to keep hunting monsters by myself. If I would have been alone right then, oh, that the gun would have went off. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and say that yeah. the gun would have been fired. But, you know, that's what happened. Thank you for watching. We didn't die in the woods. Nope. Nice. She didn't die in the woods. Yep, nobody died <laughs> in the She's woods. She's here. She's just off camera. <laughs> She's off camera, like, contemplating life. She's, She's like, I'm not doing bit. this anymore. Yeah. All right. Until next time. Peace. Remember, the monsters are not just in your head or under your bed. They're everywhere.